What is up everyone? Diggin' Dave. So guys, I picked up two boxes of nickels from my bank. They are the Loomis Rolls. I have two boxes. I just have one box in front of me. I checked for enders. We don't have any crazy enders, but two boxes of nickels are $200. Let's start on this first box and see what we can find. Roll number two of box one for this two box nickel hunt is going to give me the first old find. It is a San Francisco. 1941. I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 11, guys, and I do believe we're going to have a war nickel right here. It has that silver look, and yes, we are Philadelphia. And it's going to be a 1943 Philadelphia, the most common war nickel. But it's always nice to find a bit of silver in the nickels. That is awesome. Um, in the last few rolls I've gone through, I also found a couple other things. A 41 Philadelphia, a 46 Philadelphia, and a 2000, uh, 2000 Canadian nickel. All right, guys, I'll update you when I find something else. Oh, man, guys, roll number 21. And this is pretty upsetting. This is the most damaged beat up buffalo nickel i've ever found i am not going to get a date off of this nicodate wouldn't help because that's damage 100 percent of buffalo though you can see the buffalo it looks like it went through a lawnmower what the heck happened to this buffalo nickel but we have got a silver war nickel and a buffalo now technically in the box even though it's in terrible condition this does count as a buffalo and also in the last few rolls I've gone through as well, I got a couple other oldies, a 49 Philadelphia, a 52 Philadelphia, and a 1941 Philly. But my goodness, what the heck happened? Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, so I've gone through quite a few more rolls. I'm on roll number 35 of the first nickel box. Got a few more finds. Did find a 1939 it is a Philadelphia, not a key date, and there's no uh, doubling on the reverse. Got a 1941 Philadelphia. A 42 non-silver Philadelphia. A 1957 Denver. A 46 Philadelphia. And another 1946, but this one is a Denver. All right, guys, we have 15 rolls left in box one. We're finding quite uh, quite a few good finds. We got a Buffalo, a War Nickel, even though that Buffalo is in terrible condition, the world's ugliest Buffalo. We're finding quite a few things. So let's keep digging and see what we can find in the last 15 rolls of Nickel Box One. Alrighty guys, just finished nickel box number one and we got a few more finds, not a ton, but we got another 1939 Philadelphia, a 52 Philadelphia, and a 1946 Philadelphia. So we didn't have a ton of finds in this first box, a lot of common 40s and 50s, I think two 1939s. We did get the one foreign, 2000 Canadian, uh, but we were able to get a war nickel, I'm happy with that, a 43 Philadelphia. And we did get a very beat up buffalo nickel. Hopefully box number two we can find some more silver and buffalo nickels. But maybe a buffalo that's in a little better condition. <laughs> Alright guys, let's keep on digging and move on to nickel box number two. The very first roll of nickel box two is going to give me a 40s nickel. A 1942 Philadelphia non-silver. I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. I'm on roll number uh, 15 of Nickel Box 2, and it's been a pretty uh, pretty slow box, unfortunately, but I did get a foreign 1988 Canadian Nickel. I got a 1952 Philadelphia and a 1941 Philadelphia. So haven't found much in Box 2, but hopefully it picks up. We still have 35 rolls in the box. Let's keep on digging. Well, like I said, guys, nickel box number two here has been pretty slow, but I'm on roll number 28, and we are going to get a bit of silver. It popped out of the roll. We see the Philadelphia mint mark on the back there. 
I did see it's going to be another 1943 Philadelphia. So this may have saved box number two. We got a buffalo and silver in box one. So far, that's all we found here in box two. Three commons and a Canadian. But roll 28 is going to give us a 35% silver war nickel. I'll take it. We'll see what else we can find in the last 22 rolls. Let's keep on digging. Well, box number two was pretty light on the fines. We did get three more fines on the last few rolls. A 40 Philly, 54 Philly, and a 56 Philadelphia. Box number one, we did get the War Nickel and the Beat Up Buffalo and the 2000 Canadian. I feel like the War Nickel definitely saved box number two. If we wouldn't have found the War Nickel, it would have been a very slow box for box two. But out of two nickel boxes, we got two War Nickels, a Buffalo, mainly common 40s and 50s. I think we got like two or three 1939 Philadelphias. But honestly, this is why I don't hunt nickels a lot. I really prefer quarters or half dollars and pennies. I just, I never find a lot in the nickels. You know, a war nickel's worth, what, a dollar each? The buffalo, that's pretty much worth face value with how bad of condition it is. But I hunt nickels once in a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And until next time, keep on digging.